seated. Now throughout the meeting I have asked various people to read prayers as we come into a time of remembrance. So we're going to share with Reader One and after which Helen will bring us a poem and a responsive time of prayer. Lord, we thank you for the service of those who served in the Navy and the sea-based services. We recognise that behind service personnel there are families waiting back home. We pray for them as well as they miss their loved ones and we pray for a safe return from overseas. Lord, we thank them for their service, lest we forget. Amen. Binion's poem that was part published in the Times in 1918. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember. Let's pray together. <coughs> Let's pray together. Let's pray for all who suffer as a result of conflict and ask that God may give us peace. For the service of men and women who died in the violence of war, each one remembered by and known to God. May God give peace. For those who love them in death as in life, offering the distress of our grief and the sadness of our loss, May God give peace. For all members of the armed forces who are in danger this day, remembering family, friends, and all who pray for their safe return, may God give peace. For civilian women, men, and children whose lives are disfigured by war or terror, calling to mind in penitence the anger and hatreds of humanity, may God give peace. For peacemakers and peacekeepers who seek to keep this world secure and free, may God give peace. For all who bear the burden and privilege of leadership, political, military and religious, Lord, we ask you for gifts of wisdom and resolve in the search for reconciliation and peace. May God give peace. O oh God of truth and justice, we hold before you those whose memory we cherish and those whose names we will never know. Help us to lift our eyes above the torment of this broken world and grant us the grace to pray for those who wish us harm. As we honour the past, may we put our faith in your future. For you are the source of life and hope, now and forever. Amen. And now we're going to sing our second song for today, O oh God, our help in ages past. 